Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel and a very happy new year to all my dear friends. May this new year brings all the health, all the wealth, prosperity, all the goodness and richness to your lives. Wishing this for all my dear friends. See, as you've already seen, today we are going to work this absolutely beautiful and so very rich crochet shawl. And it's worked with the two kind of flower motifs, as you can see. This is the big flower motif and here is the 3D flower motif. And uh, the total length of the shawl completely unstretched is 220 centimeters, completely unstretched, excluding the fringes. And the width of the shawl is around 60 centimeters, completely unstretched. Also here, if we talk about the big flower motifs, I have worked a total of 56 big flower motifs for the shawl and uh, the number of small 3D flower motifs is 39. So 56 big flower motifs I have worked for the shawl and 39 small 3D flower motifs I have worked in total. Also on the corner motifs on the length side I have added these beautiful rich capped tassels. And you can find the pattern for this cap tassel on my channel. Please check the link in the iCard and also in the description box. If you want the shawl look more richer, you can simply add beads at the center of these uh, small 3D flower motifs and see how beautiful they look. Also, the weight of the shawl, including the fringes, is 550 grams. So, a total of 550 grams of wool I have used. And you can see I have worked a very, very thin textured border on the edge to give this shawl a beautiful and complete look. Before we move any further, for the friends who are joining me here for the first time, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That really, really motivates, inspires, that keeps us connected. You get a notification each time I post on my channel and that really helps our channel grow, our community grow. That's such a boost to our motivation. So let's dive straight into working this absolutely beautiful, so very gorgeous floral shawl together. To crochet this beautiful shawl, I have used this Vardaman Millennium yarn. It's a very soft yarn and around 500 grams of red color I have used and around 50 grams of 50 grams or less of the gray shade I have used and I have crocheted it with a crochet hook of 3.50 millimeters. Also, you'll need a sewing needle with a big eye to sew in the loose ends, a pair of scissors, few stitch markers handy and you would like to add these beads or any other decoration to your shawl as we'll be working tassel. So I've added the bead here. So let's begin. So here to begin with, work a slip knot. This is how I work my slip knots. And just tighten it up. A slip knot is worked. Then work eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Having worked 8 chains, now insert the hook into the very first chain, pull up a loop and just work one slip stitch. See, a magic ring is created. Now we are going to work into the ring. So here, work 3 chains, 1, 2 and 3. This chain 3 stands for 1 double crochet. Now yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull up a loop. We have 3 loops on the hook, yarn over, pull to first 2 loops. Then yarn over pull through the remaining two loops, one double crochet is worked. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the ring, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops, one more double crochet is worked. Counting first chain three also as a double crochet, we have three double crochets worked. One double crochet into the ring the same way, four and keep counting. Work one double crochet into the ring, five. Just like this, keep working double crochets into the ring till you have a total of 25 double crochets worked. Complete 25 double crochets, I'll see you then. See here, I have worked all my 24 double crochets into the ring. And to join this round, in this from the bottom count, 1, 2, 3, this is our top third chain, the beginning chain 3. In the top third chain, insert the hook, pull up a loop, work a slip stitch to join this round here. To begin the round 2 here, Work 3 chains, 1, 2 and 3. This chain 3 stands for 1 double crochet. Then yarn over and into the next double crochet. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, work 1 double crochet. So we have 2 double crochets worked. Then work 3 chains, 
1, 2 and 3. Now this is the pattern repeat for this round. So yarn over and skip 1 double crochet below into the next double crochet insert the hook and work 1 double crochet. Then yarn over into the next double crochet below insert the hook and work 1 double crochet. Then work 3 chains 1, 2 and 3. So here 2 double crochet and 3 chain we have to work all the way round. And in between these two groups of two double crochets, just skip one double crochet in the round below. So after these two double crochet chain three yarn over, skip one double crochet into the next stitch below, work one double crochet. We'll again work two double crochets into the next DC, work one DC, one double crochet. Then work three chains, one, two and three. Again yarn over, skip one DC into the next DC, work one DC. Yarn over into the next DC, work one DC. And then work 3 chains 1, 2 and 3. Just like this keep working till you reach the end. I'll see you at the end. Here I have worked this all the way round and here I have 8 repeats of this pattern. And after this last set of 2 DCs I'll just work the last set of 3 chains 1, 2 and 3. And to join this round here skip this DC below in the round and in this 1, 2, 3 top 3rd chain insert the hook pull up a loop. Work a slip stitch to join this round 2 here. Round 2 gets completed. For the round 3, work 1 chain here. Then into the same chain 3, atop it, insert the hook, pull up a loop. Work 1 single crochet like this. Then work 6 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, atop the next double crochet, insert the hook. Pull up a loop and work one single crochet atop it as well. So here we have created a loop of uh, six chains. So we worked one single crochet atop this DC below. Then worked six chains and worked one single crochet atop the next DC. Now we have this chain three here. Into this chain three, insert the hook, work three single crochets. One, two and three. This is the pattern that we have to repeat all the way. Atop the next DC, work one single crochet, then work six chains, then work one single crochet atop the next DC and work three single crochets in the chain three gap. So here, just work one single crochet atop the next DC, then work six chains, one, two, three, four, five and six and atop the next DC also work one single crochet and then into the next chain three, work three single crochets, one, two, and 3. Just keep repeating this pattern all till the end and we'll end this round together. So I've worked it all the way and reached the end. Uh, I have worked this last set of 3 single crochets also in this chain 3 space and then to join this round see skip this chain 1 but beneath the 2 strands of the first single crochet insert the hook pull up a loop work 1 slip stitch to join this round here. Now for the next round, into this chain 6, around it just work 1 slip stitch like this. Here we'll begin our next round. So then, work 3 trains, 1, 2 and 3. So here I have worked this chain 3. This chain 3 stands for 1 double crochet yarn over. Into this chain 6, work 1 more double crochet. So we have 2 double crochets, yarn over, work 1 more double crochet. Into this chain space, yarn over, work 1 more double crochet here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, yarn over, work 1 more double crochet here, 5. So here we have worked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 double crochets, then work 3 chains, 1, 2, 3, yarn over, into the same chain 6 here, work 5 more double crochets, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is what we have created in this chain 6 space here. 5 double crochet, chain 3 and 5 double crochet. This is the pattern repeat for this round all the way round. Into every chain 6 we are going to create the same pattern. So then from here only yarn over and we are going to work into the next chain 6. So here around this next chain 6 work 5 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 then work 3 chains 1 2 and 3 then yarn over work 5 more double crochets into the same chain 6 space 1 
two, three, four and five. Simple. This is what we have to create into every chain six. Just keep creating five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet into every chain six loop ahead and I'll see you at the end of the round. See here, I have worked it all the way around and reached the end. To join this round into this from the bottom count one, two, three, and into this top third chain, insert the hook, pull up a loop, just work one slip stitch. To join this round, this beautiful motif gets ready. And here, we'll put a knot tightly and uh, cut that thread, secure it well. Now, secure this loose end on the back side here in this motif. So, this motif gets ready and it's a very easy motif to work. Having worked how to work this motif, we're going to learn how to join the two motifs together. So, here I have another motif that I've just worked for one, two and three rounds. So, I've completed three rounds. And in the third round, I've also slip stitched into this chain six as you can see. Now, here let's begin working with the pattern and along... Along with working this motif, we'll also join it with the other motif. So here, work three trains, one, two and three. This chain three stands for one double crochet. Then Yano will work four double crochets into this chain six for the pattern as we already know. So as to have a total of five double crochets here. See here, I have one, two, three, four, five double crochets work. We are going to join it with the next motif here so then work one chain here having worked five double crochets here and one chain grab this motif and this is the front side of this motif and here's the front side of this working motif grab this one and into this uh, one two second chain the center chain in the corner insert the hook like this pull up a loop simply work one slip stitch like this so the two get joined then work one chain so basically we have three chains again worked one chain then one slip and then one chain then yarn over and into this chain six again work five more double crochets here one two three four and five simple important to understand that uh, between any two motifs, there will be two corner joins. So one corner we have already joined and we'll also join one more corner alongside here. So we'll first work into this chain six in the current motif. So yarn over and into this chain six work five double crochets. One, two, three, four and five having worked five double crochets work one chain and now we are going to work a slip stitch so into this is the next motif here and into this one in the center chain from the front side i'm inserting like this pull up a loop simply work one slip stitch like this then work one chain then yarn over and into this current motif work the rest of the five double crochets of the pattern one two three four and five this is how you have to work a join between any two motifs and uh, and after that just simply work all the corners into the rest of the chain six loops ahead and join it here the same way we join our motifs See here, I have worked this motif all the way around and reached this end here. And we will just join it the same way we join all our motifs. So here into this 1, 2, 3 top third chain, insert the hook. Simply work one slip stitch and put a knot here. Secure it on the back side of the motifs. So this is how you have to join all the motifs and arrange the motifs on the length and width of the shawl as you wish. You can increase the width or the length of the shawl just by adding more motifs on that end and that's it.
this is how it looks once the big motifs get joined together and uh, i have already told you that uh, one motif is joined with the other motif only with two corners see suppose we consider this very center motif so this motif is here joined with one two three and four motifs and the joining procedure is same but if you take this motif let's call it a so it's joined with a motif with these two corners if this is b motif then this motif is joined with this b1 with these two corners if this is the c1 then this motif is joined with these two corners and if this is the d1 this motif is joined with this motif only with two corners so this is what i wanted to tell you this is what you have to keep in mind that after joining two corners change the motif and uh, just join it the same way the procedure of joining is same nextly we're going to work these uh, flower motifs the little motifs and then we'll be attaching them with our shawl here as you can see this is such a beautiful four petal flower and uh, it's a small motif before we could attach it to a shawl what we're going to do we're going to work these flowers first the four petal flowers as you can see so let's work them once the flowers are worked we'll be working this uh, gray section this boundary around this flower simultaneously joining it with the big motifs here so here then to begin with first we'll work the slip knot so just work one slip knot like this tighten it up and then here work five chains one two three four and five and now having worked five chains see this is our first chain but instead of inserting my hook into the first chain i'm going to insert it into this slip stitch so i've inserted my hook into that slip stitch knot and then just pull up a loop like this a magic ring is created now we'll begin with the round one so here work two chains one and two this first two chains stand for one half double crochet okay yarn over and insert the hook into the ring pull up a loop now we have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the three loops see one half double crochet is worked so we have two half double crochet hdc's are worked yarn over again insert the hook into the ring pull up a loop work it like one half double crochet the same way we have three half double crochets worked just like this keep creating half double crochets into the ring till you have a total of 16 hdc's work including this first chain to as including this first chain to also as one half double crochet so just work 16 hdc's i'll see you at the end of this round see here i have worked all my 16 half double crochets and to join this round we will not slip stitch into the stop second chain rather around this two chain that we just created around this chain to insert the hook pull up loop work one slip stitch like this okay to begin the next round here work four chains one two three and four now from this stitch skip one and two stitches insert the hook atop the third stitch pull up a loop work one slip stitch loosely don't tighten these stitches the slip stitch is too much then then into the next stitch also insert the hook simply work one slip stitch loosely simple again work four chains one two three and four and skip two stitches into the third one insert the hook work one slip stitch then into the next stitch ahead also work one slip stitch loosely like this simple again work four chains one two three and four skip the next two stitches into the third stitch insert the hook work one slip stitch then into the next stitch also work one slip stitch simple one more time the last time work four chains one two three and four and skip two stitches into the third stitch work one slip stitch and then into the next stitch the last stitch also work one slip stitch like this so here this round two also gets completed we have created these four loops for the petals now to begin the next round we have this chain four ahead around this chain four insert the hook and just work one slip stitch to reach there and we'll begin our next round the third round here so then work two chains one and two this first chain two stands for one half double crochet yarn over into the ring into this chain four space 
we are going to work half double crochets a total of seven half double crochets so work one half double crochet and we have two half double crochets here yarn over work the next half double crochet three yarn over work the next half double crochet into this chain four four work one hdc into this chain four five yarn over work one half double crochet into this chain four six and one more time yarn over into this chain four work the seventh work the seventh half double crochet seven so here we have one two three four five six and seven hdc's worked now having worked this petal see we have this slip stitch ahead into this slip stitch beneath the two loops insert the hook pull up a loop and very lightly gently work one slip stitch here as well one petal is worked now we want to work another petal into the next chain four so around this next chain four ahead work one slip stitch and we'll create the petal the same way so here work two chains one and two this chain two here stands for one half double crochet or hdc one already done six more to go yarn over into this chain four space work six hdc's more one two three four five and six a total of seven half double crochets worked here simple and then we have this uh, slip stitch ahead as you can see here into this next slip stitch beneath the two strands insert the hook pull up a loop simply work one slip stitch that's it again into this next chain four around it simply work one slip stitch to reach there and work two chain this first chain two stands for one half double crochet then we're going to work six more hdc's into this chain seven half double crochets worked here and then into this next slip stitch ahead beneath the two loops insert the hook pull up a loop and work one slip stitch here as well three petals created now the last one to go the same way around this next chain four also simply work one slip stitch to reach there and then work two chains one and two here is our first half double crochet yarn over into the same chain four space work six hdc's we have the slip stitch the last slip stitch ahead beneath the two strands of this slip stitch insert the hook pull up a loop work one slip stitch to reach there this round gets completed now we'll just put a knot here tightly and leaving a little tail cut that thread secure the knot well see this beautiful four petal flower gets ready and we have this loose and sew it on the back side in the petals so it doesn't show up on a flower Nextly, we'll begin with working the motif and attaching this flower with our shawl. Before we begin joining the flower with the big motif, see where we have to join the flower on to the places where we have joined the two corners. One, this is the one place, then here is the next place where we have joined the two corners of two different motifs. These are our places where we'll be joining uh, those small flower motifs. So just remember that we have one, two, three and four joints and that's it. So grab the flower and here on the back side of this flower, see here, we are going to tie our thread. So into this, we have this two prominent chains showing up. So into any one of them from this side, I'll bring my new shade. So I'll just attach it here. And then we'll begin working from here. So just keep this petal folded. It will be easy to work. Again, insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop. And here, work three chains. One, two and three. This first chain three stands for one. Double crochet. Then yarn over. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop. And work one double crochet. The same way. Right. So we have two double crochets in this stitch. Then yarn over into the next stitch ahead see this is the next stitch into the next stitch also simply work two double crochets one and two so here we have four double crochets work now work one chain and here in this join between these two corners here 
just flip it on the back side i'll be inserting so just hold it like this and into any of the spaces here in the corner insert the hook pull up a loop work one slip stitch now into any of the spaces either on this side or in this side insert the hook pull up a loop and simply work one slip stitch show then work one train now we'll work into the flower so around the next petal here yarn over and uh, behind the next petal we have two stitches here here into the first stitch work two double crochets one and two then around the next stitch also work two double crochets one and two simple so we have again created this four double crochets here then work one train and now we'll grab the other join which is here so just work one chain here and then hold the join like this and behind it just insert the hook insert the hook and pull up a loop work one slip stitch loosely then work one chain and now rotate it all and now beneath the next behind the next petal we will work so yarn over and into this stitch the first stitch behind the next petal work two double crochets one and two having worked two double crochets in the first stitch into the next stitch also work two double crochets one and two simple and again work one chain and we have a join here so then after this one chain grab this join and flip it and on the back side here insert the hook pull up a loop work one slip stitch little loosely then work one chain and uh, nextly we'll work behind the next petal so just fold it and yarn over and behind this next petal here into the first stitch here work two double crochets one and two then yarn over into the next stitch also work two double crochets one and two right we have four double crochets work then work one chain one more join to go so here see on this side here we have the last join between these two corners just adjust it all and after this one chain grab this and at the back of it here insert the hook pull up a loop work one slip stitch then work one chain and see we have this uh, first chain three already there that we worked in the beginning of this round from the bottom down to one two and three and into this top third chain around it insert the hook work one slip stitch join it so this beautiful flower see gets beautifully joined here this is what we have worked and here we'll simply put a knot and cut the thread leaving a little tail secure this tail on the back side in the gray shade later on so on the back side here take out this tail and just secure it here in the dc so it doesn't show up on our shawl right this is how it looks if you just open all the petals the gray color shows up a little and uh, this is how it looks just like this we have to create and attach all these beautiful flower motifs and uh, one more thing when you are joining here is the two corners and uh, so you just find a space exactly near the corner any space this is the join and on the back side before we just flip it and insert a hook to work the slip stitch after the four dc's so here just grab this chain the chain closest to this corner and work one slip stitch here like this so just like this we have to attach all the motifs the small ones with the big ones so here between any two flowers we are going to join the yarn between any two flowers from here we'll begin working the uh, the border along the edges 
so here see if we see this join here we have two such spaces on the top here in the corner you can tie the thread anywhere so here I'll first work a slip knot see this is the non working end this is the working end fold the working end onto the non working end like this and then hold this loop with your middle finger and thumb and the rest of the thread as if you're going to crochet now insert the hook through this loop drop a loop through it this is your slip knot just tighten it up see and now into this junction point either in this hole or in this anywhere insert the hook drop a loop and work a slip stitch the yarn is joined here now work one chain yarn over again insert the hook into the same stitch and drop a loop see we have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the three loops one half double crochet is worked here now work three chains one two and three and atop this half double crochet like this work one pico here right so at the junction we worked one half double crochet and a pico atop it then work one chain like this and now we have double crochets ahead in the petal we are going to work back post half double crochet around each of the DCs ahead. So yarn over, insert the hook around the next double crochet from back to front to back like this. Draw up a loop, take it onto the back side. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all the three loops. One back post half double crochet is worked. Again yarn over, insert the hook from back to front to back around the next double crochet. Pull up the yarn, take it on the back side and we have again three loops on the hook yarn over, pull through all the three loops gently. Right? This is back post half double crochet. Yarn over again, around the next double crochet, insert the hook from back to front to back, draw up a loop like this. We have three loops on the hook yarn over, pull through all the three loops, one more back post double crochet is worked. Yarn over, around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet yarn over around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet simple here we have this two petals and so then yarn over and in this last double crochet here in its back loop here insert the hook drop a loop and work one half double crochet here like this then work three chains one two and three and work a picot atop this HDC like this simple again we have double crochets ahead we'll be just working back post half double crochets atop these double crochets yarn over around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet yarn over around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet Yarn over around the next double crochet, work one back post, half double crochet. Yarn over around the next double crochet, work one back post, half double crochet. Yarn over around the next double crochet also, work one back post, half double crochet. Right? This is what kind of texture is coming up, you can see. And now see, we have raised this chain 3 space here in the corner of the petal. So then yarn over and work one half double crochet around it. Then yarn over again, work one more HDC around it like this. Then work three chains, one, two and three. And work a picot atop this second half double crochet like this. And then yarn over, work one more half double crochet around this chain three here like this. So this is the pattern we'll be following for the chain three space in the corner of any petal. Again, we have double crochets ahead, yarn over. Around the next double crochet, work one back post, half double crochet. Yarn over around the next double crochet, work one back post, half double crochet. Yarn over around the next double crochet, work one back post, half double crochet. Yarn over around the next double crochet, work one back post, half double crochet. Yarn over around the next double crochet, work one back post, half double crochet. This is how we have to work a petal. We have this one more petal of the same flower. We'll be working the same pattern all till here. So first here, yarn over and in this last double crochet of the same petal in its back loop, insert the hook and work one 
half double crochet here like this then work three chains one two and three then work a picot atop this half double crochet like this right again we'll go ahead and work this petal the same way we have worked this petal so yarn over around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet yarn over around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet yarn over around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet now we have reached this chain three space of the petal so we'll be working this pattern here so around this chain three yarn over and work one half double crochet yarn over again work one more half double crochet then work three chains one two and three and work a picot atop this second half double crochet just worked then yarn over work one more half double crochet in the same chain three space like this again we have double crochets ahead so just follow the same pattern till here we'll be following the same pattern of the border all till we reach this junction point between two pet two petals of different flowers so then one hdc back post hdc around the next dc one 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 back post hdc around the next dc Then here in this last double crochet in its back loop yarn over in the back loop of the last double crochet work one half double crochet then work three trains and work a picot atop this half double crochet here like this simple this is what we are creating and then again we have this five double crochets ahead yarn over around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet around the next double crochet work one back post half double crochet around the next dc work one back post hdc around the next dc work one back post hdc around the next dc work one back post hdc see we have reached this next corner here where we have this junction point between the two petals of the two flowers now here once we have done this five back post hdc's work one chain and at the junction point here into any of these spaces any of these spaces yarn over insert the hook and work one half double crochet like this then work three chains one Two and three, and work a picot atop this, like this. Again, work one chain, and we have this petal ahead. We will just work it the same way we work all the petals. So then, yarn over and work one back post half double crochet around the next DC, and from here carry on working the flower the same way and work the junction. the same way we did here and this is the pattern that you have to follow all the way round around this uh, this shawl and just finish it and we'll join it together see here i have worked this border on all the sides of my shawl and i'm i have reached the end here so let's end this uh, together see here i have worked my uh, in this between these two flowers I am in this last petal. I have worked uh, these stitches, five back post half double crochet, and now we have this half double crochet here with the pico, and we are just going to join. So from this end, just to work two chains, one and two, and because we had already at this junction point to work this HDC, so at the base of this HDC here, insert the hook, draw up a loop, and we are simply going to work a slip stitch to join it here. and here just uh, put a knot and cut the thread leaving a little tail cut the thread and uh, we have loose ends in the shawl wherever you have the loose ends 
just neatly stew them on the back side into the same color. So here this is the back side of my shawl and I'll first insert my needle through the stitches on the back side like this and then thread the needle with this loose end and that's it likewise you in this other end on the inside here on the back side see it's well spent and so neat and clean on both the sides having completed this shawl nextly we're going to add uh, tassels to a shawl you can find the pattern of these tassels on my channel Please go ahead and find the link in the description box and also in the iCard. I have provided the link. So go ahead and work the tassels. And uh, I'll just show you where I have put these. See here in this corner flower on one of the length sides, I have skipped two petals. And into this third petal that is pointing downwards here, I have put a tassel. Likewise, then I have left two flowers in between. And in this corner flower on the other side also, see, I've left the two petals and in this petal that is dropping that is pointing downwards here I have put this other tassel so let's just add the tassels to a beautiful shawl see here I have thread my needle with this uh, loose end at the top of the tassel and uh, here is our corner flower on the other length side and leaving two petals in this third petal that is pointing downwards here into this picot we're going to just add this tassel so we really want to from the back side just insert into this hole here and uh, we'll just put a couple of knots here to secure the tassel here one knot done and one more around this picot like this and now I'll just put my thread into this yarn here moving backwards and then from the bead here I will take it onto the inside here I'll take it out to secure this end really well like this Pull it all and see see it's beautifully attached here and we'll just cut this extra thread that is there very carefully so it doesn't show up on our tassel cap and it's beautifully joined just like this in all the four corners of the shawl on the length side I have put these beautiful tassels to embellish our shawl and pep it up I absolutely loved and enjoyed working this beautiful floral shawl with you. Much love and light to you all. Here is your host Surabhi and I take your leave. See you next time.